Okay, so what we're going to show is this a technique that can be used uh, to debug problems when you uh, debug workflows when you have problems uh, in production, for example. Uh, so we're going to take this uh, pretty simple workflow that is uh, has somewhat of a calculator uh, interface, and we're going to when we are We'll use this client. Um, you'll see that you might be surprised from what we get here because we expect a number. We'll see that later. Um, so the worker setup is pretty simple. Um, a client, um, you probably want to uh, connect and start this. Uh, I guess this would be uh, against a production server. And I'll, I'll show later um, how to get this replayer part working. Anyways, so. Let's uh, just start up a worker. And if we start this client, you'll see that it printed out here. We got null instead of what was supposed to be a number. Um, so wait, so where, where's the null? That was logged right down okay. here. Now we'll go to the replayer part. Let's say we want to figure out what's happening in our workflow. Uh, so we can take this uh, um, replayer code. It's pretty short. And let's say we're going to con connect to our production temporal server, get the workflow execution history for this workflow that we just ran. And then we're going to run this uh, via the replay feature. Um, this automatically will run uh, the worker in debug mode. So we can set up uh, breakpoints to see exactly what's happening. So I'll probably just set up breakpoints in all of these different operations um, just to see how things progress. This probably need to be there. Um, and let's run this replayer. OK, so what the replayer just did was exactly that. We got the history, starts replaying. And now our workflow is replaying this history. Actually, a good thing that we might want to show here is if we go to this calculator uh, workflow, this is the history that we are replaying, right? So the workflow. I'll show it, I guess it got a signal. Um, too bad it doesn't show more information that, okay, this was exactly what we see in the code, right? We see that we we added two, we multiplied, we got, and then we subtracted, and then we tried to run the inverse fraction. Um, okay, so let's see, this is the first uh, signal, uh, the add signal that we're seeing right now. If we look at um, this closure, we'll see the value here. So if I just play now, right, we added two, we got two. Now we're going to multiply x is three. We're going to multiply this, we'll get six. The next operation here you can see is subtract six, which surprisingly gets us to zero. And then we do this. The inverse fraction basically will um, do a one divided by zero. And you can see that the value here now is infinity after this operation. Um, and this is basically where the workflow ends. Um, so the reason that we got null um, is actually if you looked here in my console is because we use the JSON um, to serialize uh, the query result. And when you serialize infinity, it turns into null. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we just showed how to take any history and debug it on your computer, assuming that you have the original workflow code that produced this history.
Right. So this is good for, um, uh, you know, I'm just trying to spell out the use cases for people. This is good for when you work, when your workflow is not behaving as you would expect, right? So you want to take the specific execution history of uh, one of your workflows uh, and then just rerun it, uh, stepping through your current code. Um, okay. And then another use case that could be interesting is for people who are uh, checking for determinism changes if they need to migrate. Uh, although we hope to have a different way of versioning workflows in the future. Is that accurate? Um, somewhat, yeah. Um, we will probably have make versioning a lot easier and safer. We're definitely going to put a lot of effort into that uh, this year. Um, but you can still, some of the techniques that we will be using under the hood is still this replay um, uh, feature. Uh, it, it, this might not be like the API that's exposed to users, but under the hood, the, the best way to check uh, new code uh, for det determinism uh, um, issues <clears throat> is basically just to replay just take a bunch of workflow histories and try to replay them. Um, and because workflows uh, by default, uh, in, if they are in this replay mode, they don't generate any effects. Um, so it's very safe um, to do that. Um, they basically just yeah, run things that already happened.